Okay, I have something new to share with you today. It uses what are called translation invariant sequences relative to the generalized Australian shuffle. Now, I know that's quite a mouthful, and for the math nerds out there, you can go ahead and look up that information and study these ideas further. But for the rest of you, you should be able to do what I'm going to show you right away. And it is very surprising. Okay, so as you can see, I have three pairs of cards set out of various value suits and colors. Now we will need a random seventh card for this effect. Okay, I'm going to tell you part of the secret up front so that when I'm done with the performance, you'll be able to do this immediately. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out to you is even though the remaining cards may appear randomly shuffled, you might notice something interesting about the top 26 cards. And so let me just point that out. For the top 26 cards, each of these card value names either has three or five letters in its name. Okay, and that's kind of important. Okay, so I'm going to close this up and then I'm going to tell the spectator, as I mentioned, we need a seventh kind of random card for this chosen by the spectator. So to get to arrive at a random card, why don't we go ahead and just have you choose uh, a random number, let's say between 1 and 20, your choice. 17? Okay, that's fine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so this is the 17th, 17th card. Do you want the one after or the one before? You want the one after? Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and show your card. It's not a problem that I see it, but you do need to remember this card. This is your special card. Okay, now I'm speaking to you as the performer. You pick up the far right pair first, turn it down, the middle pair, set it on top, face down, top left, face down, okay, on top, and then you put the spectator's chosen card on top of the other six, okay? Okay, now since uh, you, the spectator, and I, the performer, have seen the cards and know the order of the cards, essentially, why don't we go ahead and just scramble them using the mange over under or under over? Which of those two would you like? You want it over under? Okay, so this is how that works. You push the top card into your other hand and the next one goes over and then under, over, under, over, under. Okay, so that's called the mange over under. Okay, and now we're going to flip the packet face up. Okay, now how this works is I'm going to go ahead and spell the card value name and as I do so, I'm going to move the top card to the bottom for each letter in the name of that card. And then once I'm done spelling that card name, the next card gets discarded, gets thrown away. Okay, so it's the eight. How do we spell eight? Uh, e I G H T. Toss that one away. Uh, queen. Q. U E E N, toss that one. A queen again. Q U E E N. Now we toss the queen. Uh, eight. E I G H T, toss that card. Uh, six. S I X, toss that next card. And then uh, three. T H R E E. Toss the next card. And which one did we finish with? Now, wait a second. Wasn't that the card that you freely chose from the deck? And the spectator will hopefully recognize, oh, I think it is actually. And then you can just drive home the fact that, okay, we started with these random pairs, three of them. I had you choose a random card from the remainder of the deck. And we just kind of stacked those 
kind of randomly and then we mixed them with the Mon shuffle and then we did this complicated generalized Australian shuffle and somehow the lone survivor, the one that survived all of the spelling and discarding of cards was the very card that you randomly chose at position 17 or in the case of your change I guess it would be position 18. Aren't you glad you decided to go with the 18th card instead of the 17th? You would not have looked like the superstar you do now. Okay, great. So if you actually perform the very steps that I showed you with the pairs that I set out and with the spectator randomly choosing any card that has an odd number of letters in its name, like three has five letters, and then stack them in the way that I did, and then do a mange over, under, or under, over, either one's fine, and then flip the pack face up, and then just go through this generalized Australian shuffle, moving one card to the bottom for each letter in the card value name, and then discarding the next one, you are guaranteed to end on the spectator's chosen card. Now, some people may choose to do, and you can because of the symmetry. I guess I should mention that. You know how before we started moving cards and then discarding? You could have, let me just, like this card was actually on top, but uh, you could work with the packet face down. And it's because these pairs that we set together along with yours, after the Mon shuffle, it's going to be symmetric. The top card will have five letters in its name, then four letters, then three letters, and then the special one that you chose, and then the next one will have three letters, four letters, five letters. So anyway, that sequence is symmetric. It's a mirrored sequence. So you could actually start the spelling and discarding with the cards face down if you prefer. Some people might prefer to do it that way. You just kind of reveal this, you know, I think it started out being an eight, right? So you reveal the top one and then go through the uh, process and you will finish beautifully, okay? And in some ways, maybe that's a nice way to go because the spectator won't know until the very end which card for sure has survived all of that, okay? So if you'd like to do it uh, face down, that's fine. I chose to do it face up for the simple reason that it's a little bit faster, right? You can kind of, you see the faces of the cards and you can carry out the procedure more quickly. But if you'd like to do it face down, that's great. In fact, try it face down. I think many of you may prefer to do it that way, which is just great. Okay. Well, thank you for watching and this will work for you. Just follow the steps and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.